Hi, and welcome to episode 63 of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is April 26, 2020. I'm Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. Um, so it has been two weeks. We are rolling along. Yep. Got a few things done. I did not get as much done as what I wanted, but so happens. <laughs> um, so I don't have any new things that I've gotten recently. Neither do I. But next weekend, <laughs> we can do shopping at Maryland Sheep and Wool online. I yes. am so excited about that. Yes, virtual Maryland Sheep and Wool. So I'm going to take my little ply away budget and maybe make some purchases, support some local fiber artists. Well, not local to me, but local to, you know, whatever. Um, some independent businesses. There and um, then in the next few weeks, maybe we'll have new stuff. And maybe get some fleeces. Well, not me, but maybe you. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to get, I want to get a shirt though. I would like to get a shirt too. You're yeah. going to have to send me um, what it looks like because I'm a slacker. Yeah. So... And <laughs> you are. <laughs> I am. I really am. Well, you have like I think if they they're doing pre-orders on the shirts, and you have from like May second to I think the tenth to order your shirt. Okay. Yes, and then they don't know when it's going to print because they have to wait for non-essential businesses to be opened in Maryland again for printing, but they can at least take pre-orders, so it'll be a while before it comes. So I think last time I talked about the Mile of Honor through Clemson. Yes. How I ordered a shirt and I yes. still haven't got it. I haven't got any information about it. Uh huh. And I sent them a message. Maybe that's why. Didn't Maybe. Didn't about that until right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. Like shirt printing would be a non-essential business at this point. Well, it's South Carolina, so I don't know what. Their what their rules are. are. Yeah. Just like with yearbooks. I know, um. A lot the yearbook like producers or whatever have all closed because they're non-essential. So kids this year are not getting yearbooks till like maybe in the fall. Don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So. Okay. So do you want to do works in progress or finished objects? Why don't we do works in progress? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you go first. Oh goodness. Um. So I have two works. No. Well, I've two. I have one that I'm not, that I keep showing that I has had no, whatever. I, I actually pulled out some, Is I there pulled out on there more. No, no none, no. but I pulled out some fiber in case I get inspired to spin while you're talking like <laughs> during the time. So I'm not just like staring into my computer camera <laughs> awkwardly. So I thought, well, maybe I could do something. Um, so anyway, so really I have like three, but whatever. Maybe I'll work on it while we're talking. I don't know. We'll see. But I did start a new spinning project on my wheel. And I did not pull the bobbin off my wheel because I didn't feel like doing it. So, but I have the fiber to show. So anyway, it is Nest Fiber Club. I'm going through my fiber club stuff. You'll, you'll notice. <laughs> um, and this is from May of 2017. But I figured since it's May and it's almost May, and I have a, a couple of different ones that were like May colorways, I thought I would use up this one next and this one is the blossom colorway and it is in Falkland so this is what it looks like oh that's pretty yeah it's purples and there's like that green in there and there's this blue so yeah so I haven't done a whole lot of it I mean obviously I have all I have it all prepared like I did like two of these I think and then haven't really worked on it since then but that was a couple days ago um so there's that project, and then I started today, and I just went real blurry. Yeah, you did. Whoa. Hello. Why? Go oh, really Why? slow back. Why are we going so blurry? No, put, put your hand up there and then go really slow back. No, really slow. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all. I'm still not doing anything. Hold on. I'm going to have to flip my camera to something else for a second and then flip back. Okay. How about I pause? Okay. Okay. And we Every are once back. in a while it does that. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyway, so I started a new knitting project today, this afternoon. Um, I know. And um, so I had talked about this a while ago. I had bought, I don't know, about a month ago, 
I placed that order with Simply Sock Yarn Company Club. No, not yes. Club. Simply Sock Yarns. Yes. Um, and I ordered some hedgehog fibers in their sock yarn. I think the colorway is maybe Bijou, but I'm not 100% on that because um, it says that on here, but I don't know if that's just like them signing it or what. <laughs> but anyway, it's the one with the super shiny label. So um, anyway, so I started, see, and I wound it up today. Mm -hmm. And I started, oh, and it came with a mini skein in all this yellow. So I started spring forward socks. right there. So I did the cuff in the yellow and then this is like the regular yarn, I guess, a non mini skein. <laughs> the main color? Yes. So I had forgot, I was originally going to do the heels in the yellow, like heels and toes in the yellow. But then I remembered that this sock, sock pattern that I was like, I'm going to do the spring forward sock pattern from Knitty that's free um, from like 2008. And I was like, oh yeah, um, I'm going to do that. And then I remembered that it was a top down with like a gusset heel and a lot of, you know, with a gusset in the heel. So I was like, so I'm going to do the cuffs in the yellow. I'm going to probably knit this sock, see how much I have, you know, see how much it might take to do like the cuffs and maybe the toes in the yellow and then the rest of it in this. I mean, if you wanted to, you don't have to do the heel gusset in that. I know, but I like the way that it fits in my other pair. I like the way yeah. that that with that heel gusset and with this and I don't knit, knit a whole lot of top down socks anymore so I usually do toe up and so it's yeah, something yeah. a little different so anyway yeah I like it I like those colors I do not have any socks on the needles oh well that's all I have like knitting wise on the needles I, I like these colors too because they're very lots of colors and didn't you get something um for your mom? Um, I did, but I haven't started it yet. Yeah. You showed it last time though, right? It was like a couple weeks ago, oh. maybe two episodes ago when I came, when it came in. I don't remember. I don't know. It was a little while ago. Um, oh my yeah, it was just some Regia. Blurring. Yeah. It was, it was some Regia that I got in to make some socks for her, but I'm going to work on these. So, my I even printed out the pattern again because I had it printed somewhere and I had to. I haven't been able to get my printer working. Oh. It's going to go through so much uh, ink. Mm. I'm really thinking about just selling it online to somebody who wants to put in the time and effort. To fix it. Yeah, I mean, it's a four or five hundred dollar printer. Mm. My printer is like a $90 refurbished printer that's a monochrome laser jet from Walmart. So, <laughs> I like this I like, do I really need to print in color? No. <laughs> um, so let's see, you went with your spinning first. I will go with what I'm spinning first. I will actually do some spinning right here while you're doing that. I can find it. Okay. Maybe. So my October 2019 um, package has been sitting here and I've been, you know, wanting to spin it and uh, it's from Paradise Fiber. And so they had, let's see, um, there was seven possible blends that you could get from that one. I got the General Guppy. I think it was General There Guppy. were seven possible what? Blends, like colorways. Blends. Okay. Blends. I it thought you said lens, and I was like, lens? What? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> there was these, which I got none of those. Mm -hmm. Well, I got the white. That one. Everybody got the white. And there was these. And I got, yeah, General Guppy. Huh. General Guppy is a large dog with a short leash and a little bark. <laughs> So yeah, it's this colorway, and it was a murder mystery box, if that helps. And so, ooh, very pretty. Is, let's see, a Cordell wool top with bamboo and mulberry silk dyed blend. It's seventy fifteen fifteen. 
So I am spinning this from the fold on my wheel. And because I am lazy, I did not take it off the wheel. Because that's how really? I really no, I mean, that's what I did too. So it's okay. I know. That's why I don't feel so bad now. Mine is like right here too. That's what's really sad. Is it's like literally right under my desk. Okay, you can kind of yeah. see it a little bit right there. <laughs> and then the white, which is still the 70, 15, 15, no. It's, it's so a, shiny. Yeah, it's 70, 15, 15, cordel, bamboo, and oh. silk. Oh, okay. The bamboo and the silk are, sh are the shiny. Yeah. So I'm going to be folding these from both from the fold. And I was going to just do a two-ply, and I was thinking about just plying this back on itself, but I think it'll be just too much. So I'm going to apply both of these together. And then, oh, okay. Um, try and get some more white maybe eventually to do the pattern because it came with a shawl uh, pattern. And I think that would be fun to knit up with it. So, but I'm just a little bit behind the times on that because it's definitely not October. Well, it's also not 2017. <laughs> it's not May 2017 either. Okay. So. <laughs> so, I'm also still working on my Athena tunic. I think I've done one pattern repeat, maybe no one and a half in two weeks. Because okay, I, I haven't. Yeah, but that's like a sweater, though. That's not like I know. Well, well, you it's know. not a sweater per se. Or whatever. Have you seen the picture? Of what I it think looks? I think so, but I mean, it's not like a. But it's like a larger project. It's not like a hat or something where you're like, oh, I did three rows, you know. I mean, in case uh, you haven't seen it, there you go. Yeah. So it's a free pattern. I got it off Ravelry. So I'm excited to get to a point where I can try it on. Um, so that's my ongoing one. And then Kelly and I, I've been talking about this sock blanket mm -hmm. all scraps. and I mean I've done a good bit on this see I, I guess I could like use it as a sock. wear it as a shawl yeah or you could sew it together and wear it as a tube top <laughs> okay that that would be a very big tube top well I mean like <laughs> but I'm not <laughs> you went Sew it together end to end. You'd have to like cut it off. And have to, like... <laughs> oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> so, summer's coming. There you go. <laughs> it was 70 today. I wore capris. So I like the scrappiness of this, but I have issues sometimes as people that know me know if things aren't even or that and having the edges being all wonky and me being so I'm going to be out of the box and not my normal self so I'm going to every now and then have a really big square in there <laughs> or oh where is it I have some really small squares oh yeah the really teeny tiny ones yeah I don't know where they are right now. There's too many squares for me to look at. So I've been looking at it and it's just been driving me crazy. And I'm like, I, I don't think, I, oh, there it is. Those small little squares right here. <laughs> like, I don't think I'd be happy with it. And I, I haven't been working on it ever, really. So um, I did a tester and I'm going, I'm thinking about redoing it so it is squared off and will be actually like a blanket. And then it will also help me go as big or as small as I want to. And I've already pulled a few of the squares off to like test drive it of re knitting. And I think I'm liking it a lot better this way. Good. So I've been working on that. I mean, I got this done within two weeks. So, yeah, I think that was pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I did get some finished spinning done. Okay. So, just gonna go into my finished objects. And I have what you guys saw before, and I don't think that it was um, plied, but I honestly can't remember. So if it was, you guys get to see it again, because I love it so much. It is my Nitty in Color um, Quick Sizzle. It was a bat of Angelina, Bamboo, Falkland, a Firestar, Merino, and Milk Fiber. So I did two ply. And I love the Selena in it, but I am, or the Firestar, whatever, yeah. Yeah, the Firestar. I am finding it everywhere on my carpet. Oh. And I've uh, vacuumed like three times since I finished it. And I'm still finding it. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what else I find it in. But I got 550 yards. So that is enough for a shawl. Mm -hmm. And then um, I went through uh, and was going through my fiber and couldn't figure out what my next spinning project should be. So I incorporated my sister's help to have her pick and choose. And she said, well, since it's spring, you need to have some spring colors. So I pulled out all my spring colors and she chose the brightest ones ever manageable. You know, it's really funny. That's hmm. very similar to the colors I'm spinning right now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> As I'm looking, I'm like, whoa, mine just has purple in it though. <laughs> yeah, mine doesn't. So um, <laughs> here's, here's my bright yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, it, uh, the color was about four ounces. And I broke that in half. And then the, spun up the one normal, and then the second uh, half, I just broke that in half again and did like a semi fractal. And then I bought some merino to have a three ply with it. And it's going to be made into a cow for her. And the rest will go into Kelly's box that I haven't mailed to her for her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know what is hilarious that I just thought about? Hmm. Do you remember the first stuff that I spun on my wheel? No, I thought it was white. No, 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 the colored stuff. Oh, there, there no. There was some white. There was white because I remember when you got your wheel, you were testing some white because I spun some yeah. white on your wheel. And that, well, and I put that together with stuff for uh, um, uh, Diana. Hmm. I made her like a stole or. Hold on, I'm going to pause. I need to pull it out. Okay. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, never mind. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it has so disappeared. For that awesomeness. Yep. Maybe next time. Yes. So, yeah, so I have, did I say, I have like 455 yards of this, just about? Yes. Okay. I can't remember. Now I'm all flustered. I know. And you're making a cowl. I am. Yes. Yeah, for my sister so she can ride on the motorcycle. So 455 yards for just a small little one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, fin is it my turn? It's your turn. I'm done. Finished stuff? Okay. So I have, because I've been working my way through, like, various fiber and stuff, and I was doing the um, virtual spin-in a couple weeks ago, and they needed something to spin. And so I was on FaceTime with my, well, actually I was on the phone with my coworker and then we went on FaceTime because it was our morning hours. And so I was like, help me pick out something to spin. So I was like, what about this? What about this? So we picked this one, which is Into the World um, from the club when I was in it back in July of 2017. So apparently like my current spinning is 2017, not my spindle, but my wheel spinning is 2017. This is 2017. So yeah. Um, this is electric boogaloo and it is between four to 4.3 ounces. I didn't weigh it. I don't know. Um, and it is Falklands and here it is. And it looks very similar to Sandy's finished spinning. <laughs> but mine doesn't have a sparkle in it. Um, and 
it is 320 yards and it got kind of poofy. So and that's a three ply, right? Yes. Cause I chain plied it. Yeah. That is a very yeah. good amount. So we'll see. Um, I have no plans for it. It's going back in its little bag. So I know what it is. And, um, yeah, then <laughs> all I see is like, it's like an alligator. Just like Klaus eyes. <laughs> so then I also finished um, this morning some socks. And these are from the, I was working on these. I think I'd started them two weeks ago. Um, from the Vesper Sock Yarn, the Remix Club. And it is from March of 2020. So like, you know, recent stuff, not 2017. <laughs> In the Falling Water Remix with the, uh, and the mini that came with it is gray. And so I made the No Pearl Monkeys, as I have been doing with all of my Remix Club yarns, that like all of them, this is the third pair. Um, <laughs> they did just charge me though for, um, for the April. So that'll be coming in sometime soon for me to work on also. But anyway, so here they are. I did the gray just on the heels. It really makes it pop. I was like, you won't really see them if they're in shoes. So. I don't know. I love them. And they match. They match so good. Yes. You have been doing great at matching your socks. You know, I'm not trying to. And it's because, um, but, so this is our second take. So I'm just like repeating myself. But that's okay. And I'll just, I'll be honest with you guys. Cause I'm like, I've, I feel like I've already said this. Cause I did. You did. Um, <laughs> We had some really weird echoing. Yeah, it was like demonic echoing. And so <laughs> I was like, we need to stop and start over. Because <laughs> it was every time I spoke. Um, <laughs> every time Sandy spoke, it was fine. Every time I spoke, it was like, bleh, bleh, bleh. it was awful. Um, Sorry, so anyway, me. so the way the color, the colors go, if you'll notice when I ended this sock, it ended at this blue and the very next color in the sequence is this green. So rather than start it with like two rows of blue, I just went ahead and did the green. So that way they ended up matching. Yes, but it's like almost to the stitch it looks like. Well, that is because that's how good I am. That's what I'm and saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so. I would have like three extra rows of blue on one side. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, we'll see if I can keep it up whenever I get my next shipment in. I hope so. I don't know. I hope I didn't just jinx you. You probably did. <laughs> Second time today. <laughs> the other one was in the it's first. It's okay because the first time was in our first take of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, I did not say what I was spinning this. I realized I didn't say what fiber this is. I like, I, I mean, I've it. said it like the past three times I've talked about it when I haven't done anything and I got to find it. <laughs> yeah. Cause you don't have it on the notes. No. Oh, well, so. you know, it is, I got it at Florida fiber in and it is long dog hand spun from sun dog fibers. And this is the colorway bright joy. And it's just, um, two ounces. See, I even have the tag. Do you want some white merino to fly with it? No. First of all, do you think I would spin just plain white? You've seen the <laughs> stuff I spin. <laughs> do you want me to spin some white and send so it to you to fly with it? No, it'll be fine. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be good for like a small project, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's coming out kind of thin, but that's because it's on a spindle, so. Are you going to uh, do two ply or? No, I'll probably chain ply it to keep the colors um, together and as intense and bright as they are. <laughs> okay, <mine laughs> no are so down like colors for me. <laughs> Which it does like a nice, like gradient looking thing. Yeah. The orange is a little bit less bright. This is still damp. I washed it on Friday oh. and it's Sunday. <laughs> it's just like this one end. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. So on to non-crafting items. Yes. 
Because I don't really want to talk about making masks, honestly. Because okay, whatever. You don't have to. I know. <laughs> that, that I will say thing. though, mask wise, that my parents made some masks, including my father, who used the sewing machine. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. I still have to make my, more and send them down to Florida. So. Hmm. I did not do that this weekend because I am lazy. Yeah. Well. And I played video games. This <laughs> That's all I did yesterday. John got a new video game. And when I say John got a new one, I bought it on Amazon because he was like, oh, that looks really cool. And it's like from two, for the Nintendo Switch, it's from two years ago. And it is a fishing video game. <laughs> Complete with control, little accessory piece you put the controllers in you know like on the nintendo switch it has like you can pull the little controllers off so you put like the one controller in the handle part and the other part and then you can like reel in your, I, I don't know I don't, he hasn't played it yet i think he was gonna play it yesterday and he didn't but yeah he was like oh look at this i guess it came up i think it came up on facebook even though it's like two years old it came up as a recommended thing on facebook and he was like look at this game how did i not know so then i like <laughs> Found it on Amazon and bought him Nintendo Switch Bass Pro Shops fishing. Nice. Yes. I played Skyrim. Ah. Because I can't find the Fallout. It's still packed somewhere with one of the controllers. Oh. Well, I played the, the Nintendo Switch Ring Fit Adventures last night and did that for my workout. So. The what? The Ring Fit Adventure for Nintendo Switch. I don't know what that is. So it's like a workout game, mm -hmm. but um, you have this like ring, hence the name Ring Fit Adventure. So you have a ring that one of your controllers goes in and the other one you strap to your leg and you have to like do different exercises to like defeat a dragon. Oh, and that's fun. And stuff. Yeah. So it's like, a, the, I mean, you can do it just like as a workout where you can just like say, oh, I just want to work out my, my arms or something. And it'll just give you a bunch of arm workouts, but you can put it in like story mode and it has you go and you have to like run through these courses and collect coins and you get to, you make like smoothies that help you recover. And so you collect the ingredients for them. <laughs> it's tough. It sounds so dumb, but, um, but you know, it gets you fine. Huh? Or so you can build weapons because it's sounding like Skyrim right now. No, but you collect you collect Flowers. like you you collect like fruits and milk and stuff, and then you make smoothies that you use during battles to help you recover. But you have to like get down on the floor and do exercises, and you stand up and you do different. There's all sorts of different stuff. Well, that's fun. Yeah, so I was I was playing that a little bit last night because I was like, I need to work out. What should I do? I think I'll pull out the Ring Fit Adventure. So, yep. Okay, so let's see. Um, I didn't update the notes on this stuff, so I, whoa, hi, have no idea um, of my watching and reading stuff. Oh, see, I updated those notes for myself. Well, I had to go and get Mexican food. <laughs> well, I ate... I heated up dinner and dessert and ate, ate dinner and dessert, so. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. That means that I did another one. Crud. So, well, why don't you start with yours? Hi, hi. Okay. So, anyway, um, I haven't been watching a whole lot of TV lately just because um, I've been – for work since we're doing distance learning and it's all online and I've been on my computer a lot more than ever. Like I'm never on my computer. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been trying not to stare at screens in my free time <laughs> because, <laughs> because looking at the computer, because, you know, because I, most of you know, I'm a sign language interpreter and um, so I'm doing interpreting now through the computer and it's for students and students sometimes don't turn lights on. Like I have my, you know, we all have our lighting set up here for this recording so that you can see us. And a lot of times they don't, or they're like signing down here. So I spend a lot of time doing this <laughs> and trying to see them and going like, turn your lights on, move so I can see you. Um, so I've been trying not to watch too much TV to try and, you know, whatever. But anyway, so I did get caught up on a few things today though, on my Hulu finally that like, um, okay. 
Yeah, um, I finished the I finished Will and Grace, which I think just had their series finale, like they're from when they reintroduced their series a couple of years ago. And so, yeah, because they like there was the original Will and Grace. I think I remember you telling me about this. And they went away. And then they like three years ago or something started it up again. And then they just had their series finale again, I guess for like, I don't know, for this series. And um, so anyway, so I watched that today. And then I also got caught up on the latest episodes of Brooklyn and Nine Nine and Superstore, which I think that the season finale of Superstore might be next week. Um, I don't know what Superstore is. It's a, it's a sitcom about like a Walmart type store. It's really funny. You would like it. Um, oh. It's on Hulu. Okay. <laughs> you can find it on Hulu. Um, yeah. So it's about people working in basically like, you know, a Walmart type of store. Um, and it's funny. And then, um, so pretty much, I think that's about it that I've really watched in the past two weeks. I don't think I've even seen any, like, John and I have been trying to watch a movie a weekend, but we didn't get to anything this weekend. I don't remember if we watched one last weekend or not. I don't even know. Um, but I mean, well, I think there were like movies on TV that we had seen 1200 times, like that we ended up watching again. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so then, but I did listen to an audio book that I finished. I know, um, that I borrowed from the library using the Libby app. And, um, it was recommended by some, one of my Facebook friends and it's called something in the water by Catherine Stedman. And she actually reads the audiobook too. So I was like, that's cool. Cause then it's like, well, this is how she wants you to read this book since she wrote it and then does the reading. <laughs> so I was like, well, that, you know, cause normally they get someone else to read the book and you're like, oh, well, it's really cool to like hear it. But it was one of those, like, it was a Reese Witherspoon pick, kind of like how Oprah did her books, but now like Reese does Reese's picks. And, um, so anyway, it was like one of those suspenseful, twisty, turny, mm -hmm type of books where there's like newlyweds and they find something in the water not spoiling anything because that's the title of the book <laughs> <laughs> um so I'm yeah. just looking up the last thing because I honestly book trailer so I'm looking up uh like the author of one of the books I just finished mm-hmm and they youtube has a oh. book trailer hey will you stop oh. klaus is getting very vocal <laughs> um <laughs> yes so um i actually went through a lot of audiobooks oh. the last two weeks i just haven't even read any books or anything i just yeah. was like oh let me I haven't read any books but yeah not recently um, but I had been listening to American Gods, and I finished that. Mm -hmm. That was good. Um, and then I finished uh, um, what Time of Contempt, which was one of the Witcher books. Mm -hmm. and I started the next one in the series, Baptism of Fire. Um, and then I started and finished How to Hang a Witch, and I like that. Oh, book. I read that. Yes. I think. Maybe. It was about Salem and the witch trials in present day. Yes. Because there's a sequel. Yes, there is. There is a sequel. There's a sequel because the sequel book was the book that I used on stage um, when I was the bookish nerd in um, Legally Blonde. <laughs> okay. I have not started the sequel yet. Um... And then last time I was trying to get through some blueprint project or classes. Mm -hmm. And so I finished the drafting from Warsaw to Woolen and also applied a knit. Uh, the spin the ah, spin the yarn you really want. He is very crazy right now. <laughs> yes. So um I have started rewatching Outlander. Okay. So that way I can hopefully try to catch up on it because it's mm -hmm. been a while. Hi, Klaus. Um, 
I was going to say, did you did you ever watch this season that which is the final season of The Magicians? No, I have not yet. Okay. Nope. And then, did you watch Parks and Rec? I did. Okay, because this Thursday night, like I don't remember. I think it's like at eight or at eight thirty, maybe at eight thirty. I don't know. Anyway, this Thursday night, and it'll be on Hulu, like probably the next day. Um, they are doing a Parks and Rec new story that they're all like filming from their houses or something. That's supposed to be a pretty much like how they are dealing with what's going on right now, like how the characters are. Um, so yeah, it's going to be like a new Parks and Rec story that they're all filming from in their own houses and stuff. Cause obviously you can't all get together to film. So yeah. Um, there's going to be like an episode, like a 30 minute clip show episode first, like going over the show and then they'll do the reunion special thing. That'll be fun. And yeah. I just found out like the last week or so that there's going to be a Psych 2 movie. Apparently yes. Everybody else knows about it. Yeah, but, I know about it. I think I posted it to Facebook. I, I didn't. Because there's a psych marathon going on every week. Like USA is showing um, two seasons a week starting on like Wednesday night or Thursday morning or something during the day when I'm at work. And all night when I'm asleep. So, but yeah, there's gonna be a second movie, but it's gonna be on NBC's streaming service, Peacock TV. Well, I think that's about all that I have. Yes. And Kyle's very adamant about us ending. And John has not come back with the dog yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Klaus is yeah. like, listen, what time is it? It's time to eat. That's what time it's it is. It's time for me to find the thing on YouTube that is the Stephen Sondheim 90th birthday celebration oh. concert. Yes. <laughs> so with that. Um, with that, you can find us on social media, as I've got like a handful of stuff to wind on. Um, you can find us on social media. We are on Instagram, we talk about Facebook. We have like a lot lately talked about Facebook, but yeah, um, that's my personal Facebook. So, um, <laughs> um, but anyway, we are on Instagram and I am pearly girl 75 and Sandy is Mits and bits mm -hmm, on Instagram, which is where I think we're probably the most active, but we do have a two crafty stitches, um, Twitter that will post like when, um, episodes have been recorded or when they're posted. And also, of course, we're on YouTube, and that would be Two Crafty Stitches, and the crafty is with a K. And with that, I hope everybody uh, has a good next two weeks, and happy crafting. Yep. Bye.